assalamu alaikum today i'm going to show you a very easy and basic recipe of soya chunks and tomato curry or nutri and ruangan these are widely used and highly nutritious and protein rich and they turn really good so let's get started for making this scrumptious curry i have taken around 150 grams of nutri or soya chunks two small packs of tomato puree that will be around 400 grams one teaspoon of dry ginger powder one teaspoon of fennel seed powder two teaspoons of salt two teaspoons of kashmir red chili powder two black cardamoms cumin seeds cloves 3 4 green cardamoms 1 teaspoon of coriander powder 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves this enhances the taste it gives a very good flavor and 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and oil i have taken around 4 tablespoons because for cooking soya chunks we need good amount of oil So I start with boiling the soya chunks or nutri in water. You can follow the instructions on the package, whatever it's however it's mentioned. You can follow that. So we have to boil them on high flame for around five minutes till they become soft. After boiling on high flame for around five to seven minutes, we need to wash it under. running water and then we have to squeeze out the extra water before cooking so here you can see it's boiling it has started to boil so i'll boil it for around 5 to 7 minutes on high flame so now it has been boiling so at this stage i'll turn off the flame but it has been boiling for around 5 minutes i'll turn up the flame i'll wash it under running water and then i'll squeeze out the extra water and then cook it now till then i'll cook tomato puree for that i have taken around 1 tablespoon of oil i'll heat it up and then add ginger garlic paste Once it's sauteed properly, then I'll be adding cumin seeds, black cardamom, green cardamom, and cloves, and I'll saute it properly. And then I'll be adding tomato puree to it. I'll give it a mix. I'll add salt. then cover it and keep it on medium flame till oil is visible on the surface till it's cooked properly so after 15 minutes on low flame here you can see now i'll be adding other spices that include chili powder dry ginger powder dry coriander powder and kasuri methi or fenugreek seed leaves i'll mix it properly then again i'll keep cover it and let it cook for some more time till oil is visible we'll keep checking in between so that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the pan so here you can see after around 5 to 7 minutes again it's ready now so i'll turn off the flame now going to nutri or soya chunks another pan i have heated up 3 tablespoons of oil and add wash squeeze soya chunks we'll mix it and we have to fry them till they turn brownish on the surface it may take a while here i have kept medium to high flame so here you can see after around 10 to 15 minutes on medium flame they are fried properly so at this stage i'll be adding some water so 
I'll add a glass of water and then I'm adding some spices that include green cardamom, black cardamom and cinnamon stick and we will let it boil and then we'll be adding tomato, cooked tomato puree to it. So here you can see it has been boiling. So at this stage I'll be adding cooked tomato puree to it and then I will let it cook for around 20 minutes on low flame till the soya chunks get the taste of tomatoes chilies and salt you can adjust according to your taste here also you can check the salt and adjust according to your taste and for around 20 minutes I'll keep it on low to medium flame after around 20 minutes on low flame here you can see tomato and soya chunks are ready you can adjust gravy also according to your taste but it is really good with less gravy here you can see it's ready to be served it can be served with rice or roti so here you can see mouth watering tomato and soya chunk curry is ready or nutrient tomato it's a must try for tomato lovers give this recipe a try and let me know in comments how it turns thank you for watching have a good day